And uh, so I actually paid attention to the comics of old that were all dressed uh, mm -hmm. all the time. So it was always about looking very sharp when you were on stage for me. And not to mention my dad always looked sharp as well. Yeah, yeah, awesome, man. But you also were extremely good, man. Uh, incredibly funny, uh, personable, absolutely dressed to the tees or you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And you, for, from my remembrance of seeing you behind there, because you know I was the DJ at that time, so I I watched I everybody. I watched everybody. <laughs> right. Um, you could t you could handle all crowd. There wasn't a crowd that I saw you not really be like able to uh, tame, bro. So because you know, prior, to that, prior to that, prior mm -hmm. to getting to to. Uh, all jokes aside, which was the first black comedy club in Chicago. Yeah. I was working with at McGill or D uh uh what's that do? Uh I was working with Andre and Dose. Dose, I was finna was uh, Andre and Dose. Thing. Yeah, Andre and Dose. Good old Dose. What happened to Dose, you know? I read, you know, when I was working at GCI driving the truck, I ran into him on the northwest side. Uh -huh. uh, back in that, I think he still had a tank top on with, you know, muscle bound. <laughs> right. For those who remember those. But I was in Catch a Rising Star. Okay. I was in um, the improv. But a lot of these comedy clubs in Chicago are gone. Yeah. Yeah. So I know. Um, some of the names escape me right now. Yeah. But these white comics were different. So the Judy Tenutas. Yeah. Yeah. You would get up there with an accordion. Right. And, and be smashing the room. It was just a whole different vibe. Because a lot of black people were not in the comedy clubs to even watch comedians at that time. Now, I think Catch a Rising Star was inside of the Hyatt on uh, Wacker. Okay. Wow. What a, what a that. great. That was a hot spot. Place. Yeah. What a great location. It was, a, it was fantastic. Uh -huh. And um oh i wish i could pull out some of those other names of those comedy clubs I, i'm doing them all in chicago yeah learning how to uh maneuver yeah learning how to write and that's thanks to andre uh, mm -hmm. Lavelle, yeah and you know what i don't think people uh, i think people hear about it, but they don't understand that even the segregation of chicago leaks into comedy and then i did a show again it was a group of us that worked together it was me lonnie cheryl underwood yeah. And Andre. Okay. And we were killing places. We did the Phoenix Club in Hyatt Park. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the Phoenix Club? I think the sign still might be hanging out there. There's been many things since then. Yeah. And then Sawyer's. We did a show at Sawyer's. I know Sawyer's. Very and it cool. ended well after 10, 11 o'clock. Again, I'm a kid out in these Chicago streets. I know nothing <laughs> about Chicago. Yeah. Cheryl Underwood and Andre says, We're going to LA tonight. Mm. In this little hatchback car they had. I yeah. said, tonight, they said, right now, you can get in the car and come with us. I, I just did the New York thing. I was starving. Yeah. And they, so you didn't go. They, they, yeah. I didn't go. I who who you, did I see him coming to America? Andre. Yeah. Is he coming to America. I, mean, I don't think that there was anybody that really could compare to your talent level and your draw. And I think Raymond saw that. And that's why, um, you know, you were able to get so many bookings in that system versus you know even a Corey they 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 book Corey a lot in the later years but then you know Corey Hope, Hope. yeah Corey Hope. you know I was the first comedian to open all jokes aside well that's what I'm saying man and I was the last comedian to perform when it closed closed really because this is what happened yeah they said we need a clean comedian and the only name they can come up with was some Andre said I know a guy named yeah. Ron Baker Jr. They had no idea who I was. Right. My first yeah. uh, payment for telling jokes. And then a Denise Neal Higgins, a lot of what you see of who I am is because of the late, great Denise Neal Higgins, okay. Andre Lavelle, and okay. Dose. 